In this video, we're going to take a look at some software that you should have when working with WordPress or really any web app. We'll look at the specific kinds of software you should have and then some recommendations on particular applications. So first, the kinds of software you should have. This is your tools. You will want a text editor. This is good for editing theme files or code in general. You want to have something that is specifically geared toward the editing of text. That is not a word processor, not something like Microsoft Word text. A file transfer app is what you'll use to get your files from your computer onto the internet and back from the internet onto your computer. This will handle things like SFTP, FTP, and so on. An image editor. This will be good for doing you know, basic stuff like resizing images, which WordPress can help you with to a point. But you want to have an image editor if you're going to be dealing with photographs or just any kind of imagery at all. And finally, a CSS editor, while not necessarily required, is very nice to have if you're going to be working with WordPress themes at all. Now let's take a look at some specific recommendations on text editors, starting with the Mac. BBEdit is what I use. It's been around for quite a long time, and I find it to be quite comfortable and even easy to work with. It's about $49 from the Mac App Store. There is a sort of companion app called Text Wrangler made by the same company that is free. So you can download that and use it in perpetuity. And if you end up finding some of its capabilities limited, you can always jump up to BBEdit. Over on Windows, this is actually a Mac app as well, but Dreamweaver is of course a, let's just call it a juggernaut for uh, web authoring. This can handle just about anything and it does have a very nice code editor. If that's too rich for you, then you can always try Notepad++ or any of the other Notepad alternatives for Windows. You do not want to use Notepad Although it is bundled with Windows and it is technically a text editor, it can't handle the kinds of text files that are generated by Macs or other non-Windows platforms. So you will want something like Notepad++. Now, file transfer applications, starting with Mac again. Transmit is made by Panic. It's very nice. It can handle pretty much any protocol, and it has a very friendly and approachable user interface. A free alternative is Cyberduck. Again, this can handle just about anything. And uh, as I say, it's free. Over on Windows, if you are using SFTP or SSH, the couple of major secure file transfer protocols exclusively, you can use WinSCP for free. If you need more, but still want to stick with something that's inexpensive, which is to say, in this case, free. FileZilla can handle just about anything, and it is quite popular. For Mac image editors, I would certainly recommend Acorn. This is another piece of indie software made by a company called Flying Meat. If you're looking for a free alternative, GIMP is available for all platforms, Mac, Windows, and all kinds of Unix. It stands for the GNU Image Manipulation Program, and it can do just about anything. Over on Windows, specifically for image editors, uh, again, we have an Adobe product here, Photoshop Elements, which is available for the Mac as well. It is relatively inexpensive and extremely capable. A very good alternative to the very, very powerful, but also quite expensive, full version of Photoshop. A free alternative is Paint.net. Very nice and very popular and Windows exclusive. For CSS editors, my favorite is CSS Edit, which is made by a company called Mac Rabbit. This is exclusive to the Mac. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you can't buy it anymore as a standalone product. It's now bundled into a more general sort of Dreamweaver light called Espresso that they make. But I love CSS Edit if you can find it get it. There is also Firebug, which is a plugin for Firefox, the web browser. This is not so much a standalone CSS editor as a general 
web editor that runs in your browser window and lets you interact with the site live. Very handy. Chrome and Safari both have similar products actually built in with no download called the Developer Tools in Chrome and the Web Inspector in Safari. Very useful. For CSS editors on Windows, just one recommendation here, top style. I have to confess, I've never used this myself being a Mac guy, but before I started using CSS Edit, this was the CSS editor that I heard of and kind of wished for for a long time. So check it out. And that is your overview of software tools for various platforms that you can use with working with WordPress and other web applications.